Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Doki Doki. This is episode 9. We just finished up our hot and heavy date with Natsuki, and uh, kind of got a little bit <coughs> clock blocked by, uh, by uh, Natsuki at the... Wait. Sayori. We got a little clock blocked by Sayori at the end there. And uh, she's having a hard time, so I'm going to try and, you know, help her through this. And uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, I'd highly recommend it. I was fucking crying laughing you just you need to watch episode eight anyways let's jump right into this <clears throat> clearly flustered natsuki hurries off and sayori waves goodbye sayori i thought you didn't want to come over today haha <laughs> well i tried staying in my room but my imagination was being really mean to me so i had to come here to see it for myself see what what are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. I kinda doubt that, I'm not gonna lie. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That doesn't seem like happiness. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Wolfgore? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Wolfgore. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Da, da, da. Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Wolfcore. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Wolfgore, I like you so much that I want to die. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh. Oh, shit. We just got a big, big decision put on us, Sayori. Now let's, let's talk this out. Let's think this through. Because unlike in real life, we have the luxury of actually thinking about this. Hmm. Now, up until very recently in the game, Sayori was waifu. But at the end of the last episode, after having such a great date with Natsuki, and seeing that Sayori has some really complex feelings, uh, not that there's anything wrong with that per se, but it might not be healthy to be in a relationship with somebody who's not so stable right now. It would very, very likely turn into something incredibly codependent, and that's not what I'm looking for, and that wouldn't be healthy for either party. And I don't know, I just, I kind of like Natsuki now. But Sayori's like still my best friend, and I want to be there for her, absolutely. But I think telling her that I love her, or pursuing anything romantic with her, would ultimately be bad for her depression in the end, and bad for our relationship. So I'm going to go with, you'll always be my dearest friend. Let me know what you thought about that decision in the comments below. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is that what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? No, 
no, getting stabbed in the chest is actually much, much worse. I should write a poem about this. Yes, you should. Writing is incredibly helpful when dealing with depression and complex emotions. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? Jeez. For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I know this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here, just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Wolfgore. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Jeez. <sighs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loud as she can. Let it out, girl. Let it out. <laughs> Let the demons out. I'm so shocked, I don't know how to react. Da da da. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning and running off. Sayori. Da da da. I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can... Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this one to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, no, just fucking go over there, man. Don't be a pussy. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes, cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Hmm. Wolfgore! Hi, Monica! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each one of the desks in the classroom. This must be the ones she's prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. That's what I fucking said! <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Wolfcore. I, I agree! I mean, especially after you exchanged, after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? I couldn't agree more. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. Ooh, but I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't know the full story at all. So don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, given it Given it an almost professional feel, I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they perform during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Uh, percent sign. 
Get out of my head. 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 Yikes. Baby girl's not doing well. Not doing well at all. Ah! What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Wolfcore? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else you always written. But more than that, I I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori. So, ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Should have just fucking stopped by in the morning. Like I said, I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori, she really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house, isn't that more than something a boyfriend would do? In any case, I just it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Whoa! What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? This is a nightmare. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? Oh my god. How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonizing scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. Oh my god. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now... I can never take it back. Never. 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 What the fuck? Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god, how, 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 what? I don't know how to process this. 
I, I don't know how to process this. My brain is like, feels like it's glitching out like this. It's just like, bah! oh my God, I knew this game got dark, but I didn't know it was gonna get that dark. And you know, that reminds me of this comment that I read on one of the past Doki Doki episodes that said, prepare to leave Sayori hanging. So that makes more sense now. That was some clever wordplay. I don't remember who wrote that, but you, you. Well, I'm not sure what's next for this game. I'm assuming part of the game experience is to keep going after this. So I think we will. Um, but I'll probably wait until after I post this episode to continue recording more because I want to get your guys' feedback. Should we keep playing this game or is this just too fucking dark and weird? I need time to process and integrate what just happened. Fuck. Fuck. Natsuki. I just, I just wanted to have a girlfriend. My God. My God. Okay. Okay. We're going to get these, these last two episodes edited, post them. I'm gonna get your guys' feedback, and we're gonna go from there and see if we want to continue sort of a season two of Doki Doki. Holy shit. Holy shit. I, uh, like if you enjoyed. I don't know if I enjoyed this episode. I don't know if enjoyed is the word I would use. But this was an experience. I am absolutely shocked. I am in shock. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. It really, really helps the channel grow. I love your faces, beard heart, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!